So it's been a really busy morning here at Wyke celebrating our Level 3 results day 2023. Paul, how do you feel like it's gone today? It's been a really lovely morning. We've got celebrating absolutely fantastic results. Our students, we've got to bear in mind these students, they didn't sit their exams at GCSE level. They had really disrupted education and they've come to Wyke. They've worked really hard for two years and they've absolutely smashed it. Can you tell us some of the headlines from today? Yes, yeah, so we've got 58% uh, of our students achieving those high grades A star to B, which is excellent. That's 4% higher than the equivalent year back in 2019. Um, we've also got 88% of our students uh, on vocational programmes getting a distinction or better. Uh, and maybe most pleasingly of all, our T-level students, 100% of those got high grades. First time that they've ever been awarded across the country. And uh, as you would expect, white students have done fantastically well on those. What advice would you give to any students who are looking to do A-levels to kind of achieve this amazing success? Yeah, I think you've got to come ready for our, our whole kind of supported independence, this really kind of high challenge, but kind of high responsibility environment. So you've got to really want to do it. You've got to be willing to put the work in, but you've also got to be open to asking for that help when you need it, because it's a learning process. Uh, and I think we've seen that with our students. They, they came and they had a, a tough time. You know, some of them have had significant mental health challenges, kind of concerns, having to learn how to get into examinations. Um, and, and they've worked so hard with us. And that's meant that when it's come to those final results, they've, they've done fantastically well. It's been a very positive day. We've got eight students, we think, at the moment, it might be go up, uh, who've got places in Oxford and Cambridge. We've got 15 students, a fantastic number going off to uh, medicine, dentistry uh, and veterinary. And what we've been seeing is that actually our students have done very well. So even if they're only just slightly off their offer, the vast majority of students getting into their first place choices. Um, we've also got some brilliant stories of students going into apprenticeships, fantastic apprenticeship uh, with the BBC uh, and, and kind of going to be a leader leading journalist um, going forwards. Uh, so a fantastic range of, of destinations for our students. And obviously we are a sick farm college. What do you think of the benefits of coming to study at a sick farm college rather than staying at a smaller sick farm, for example? So I would always say to anyone that what you need to do is you need to look at all of your choices and work out where you think you're going to be most successful. I think what WIKE offers is we've got specialism and we've got scale. So this is all we do. So all of our teachers, all of our support staff, they are specialists around 16 to 18 year olds. So we've got examiners, we've got pastoral support who really understand how that whole process works. I think the other thing that you get at WIKE is it just isn't school. It's that independent, it's that mature environment. And, and our students really thrive on that. Talking to the students today, the thing they've most valued is being given that responsibility to kind of go on and do their work and do their work for themselves, but also having our specialist staff there to help them where they need it. So I think if, if that sounds good for you, if you want to come somewhere a bit mature, a great stepping stone to university or to work, then, then I think you should really have a look at Wyke. Welcome to the programme. First, for thousands of students across the region, it's been an intense morning of emotions as they've been getting their A-level, T-level and B-Tech results. Getting the grades to go on to further training or to study is more competitive this year as marking has gone back to pre-COVID rules. But the key advice for those that didn't get the grades they need is not to worry as there's plenty of help on hand. Well, uh, Joe Makel has been at White College in Hull and sent us this report. She's agreed to open her T-level results while we're filming. Olivia's slightly nervous. She has no idea what she's got. I got a merit overall, so that's really good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> she already has a job offer, a degree apprenticeship in nursing. I do one day a week at Hull Uni and I do four days a week in a full-time job. So I'm going into a surgery ward um, at Castle Hill. I learn a lot better, like, hands-on on the job sort of thing. I'm a lot better at doing, like, it practically. So that's why I thought, like, a degree apprenticeship would be the route for me to go down. It really took a bit of her. She's worked really hard. And uh, after having COVID and everything, it's really nice to see them going on to the NHS as well. T-levels are fairly new. They offer work placements as well as academic study. For Alicia, it helped her focus her university course. On my placements, I got to be able to work within the mental health team, and I just, I just loved that more, and I really enjoyed that. So that's the, um, where the path I wanted to take instead. 
Many students here at Wyke College still sit traditional A-levels. Ethan is now heading to Brighton to do medicine. It has been so stressful. Two years and it's just all come to this and I'm so pleased that it's all finally got there. Um, it has been a roller coaster of emotions. It is, for most, the first time they've sat formal exams. Their GCSEs were cancelled by COVID and this year, exam boards aren't making as many allowances. It's been really tough. The impact of the pandemic both kind of meant they didn't get as much education as they would have done uh, in, a, in a normal kind of lifespan, um, but also really impacted on their social lives, which, you know, as a teenager is such a key part of what it's all about. For those that are happy with their results today, they still face some important decisions. The first one being which pub to go and celebrate in. Joe Makel, BBC Look North, Hull. Also on calendar tonight. I got two A's and an A star, so I'm into uni. Yeah. Um, shocked, but very happy. It's results day for A-level students. Find out how our region's been affected by a return to pre-pandemic grading. And... And while many students are now planning to head to university, others have chosen jobs and apprenticeships as the cost of living weighs heavily on their minds. But as Amelia Beckett reports from Hull, it didn't stop many from congratulating themselves on getting through the past few years. It's a day that puts years of hard work into focus. At Wyke College in Hull this morning, the moment these students realise it's all paid off. So I got two A stars and a B, um, and that's, that's good. I needed three Bs to get into my uni. So. You're in. Well in, yeah. I got two A's and an A star, so I'm into uni. Yeah. Um, shocked, but very happy. It's amazing. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. It's, it's been the biggest, probably, relief of my life. I needed three A's for uni, and I got two A's and an A star. So it's the butterflies in my stomach have just gone at once. I'm very proud, very relieved. Yeah, <laughs> he actually matched my A-level a grades. Okay. So, yeah. And also my daughters as well. We got the exact same grades, all three of us. Yeah. Wow. Runs in the family, I guess. The pandemic meant this cohort missed out on formal GCSEs, and this was the first time they'd sat exams in real conditions. But it's not just COVID they've had to grapple with, also a cost-of-living crisis. Something which led Jasmine to reconsider her next steps. I was always quite academic and I uh, actually booked my student accommodation. I got a place at university, like through UCAS, and then I just applied for an apprenticeship and I thought that it pays really well like, and I definitely won't be skinned like my friends at uni. <laughs> <laughs> this is a generation that's been tested in more ways than one, but many here today are embracing what's ahead. Amelia Beckett, mm. ITV News Hull. Lots of celebrating. Becky, thank you very much. Uh, well, with me now is Bernie Savage from the National Union of Students, who is Vice President for Further Education. Also joining me is Ethan Luca Barrow, who's a student at WIC at Sixth Form College in Hull. Welcome to you both, and thanks very much for being with us here on uh, Sky News. Ethan, I'd like to start with you. Now, I understand you needed AAB to get your place uh, to study medicine at Brighton and Sussex uh, Medical School. I'm delighted to say you got those grades, so a huge congratulations. Well done to you. I'm sure you're feeling absolutely uh, delighted. How, how worried were you before you opened that, uh, that envelope about the announced grade suppression? How expected were your results this year? Oh, it was so stressful. Um, I barely slept last night trying to go through all the possible, um, what was going to happen, how I was going to plan for it. And it's just, you know, because I really, really was hoping to get into medical school. And um, I'm so glad I did. And I'm really glad I got there. Um, but it is, it's been a very, very stressful few days on yeah. the lead up to results day. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and of course, you're, I mean, you're a top student. You've got an AAB. Uh, how difficult did the exams feel this year? I know you can't compare because you haven't sat previous year's exams, but did you get a sense of, of, compared to your preparation, how hard the exams felt? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially with me not doing my GCSEs, um, we're doing no formal formal um, exams before. It's definitely a big step moving forward to um, to doing external exams. I'm not used to them all. My GCSEs were, were all internal. So it's definitely, the first one was such a big step to get to. Um, I did do a lot of the past papers, but I think they kept it quite similar to a lot of the other exams. But I think the difference lies with me not sitting my GCSEs and not being used to uh, external exams. 
I know that your college also does T-level programmes. Uh, it, it takes some of your students, go. the students at your uh, college also go on to do apprenticeships at places like Bank of America, Jaguar Land Rover. Is that something that your friends have been talking about or do you feel there's still this obsession with getting into university? Um, I think there's definitely a lot more focus on BTECs now and that's really important because it's not A-levels might not be the right and maybe uni as well might not be the right choice for everyone. Um, we celebrated lots of T-level students getting into nursing and other courses like that and I think it's really important as well. You know, some can use T-levels to go to, to study degrees but apprenticeships are also an amazing opportunity as well. I think using that as well and just knowing that um, uni is not the only option. Um, there, and I know our team. Yeah, and I wonder, because it, it is different in, in other countries where, I guess, apprenticeships are lauded much more, they're celebrated much more. We're trying to do that in the UK. It's, it's a, it feels like a slow start. You're at a sixth form college right now. For those friends who are deciding that they don't want to go to university, they want to do something else, is there an intellectual snobbery going on or is it celebrated in the way that I think the government would like to see? No, I think it's definitely celebrated. I think that's definitely, you know, pushed by our careers team. And it, there's a scene no different to getting an apprenticeship um, as compared to going to university. All right. Well, listen, it's really great to get your thoughts, both, both from Bernie Savage there, Vice President of the National uh, Union of Students, Further Education Vice President, and from Ethan Luca Barrow, to whom we wish, again, many congratulations on uh, your success in uh, your A-levels and your place at Brighton and Sussex Medical School. Well done to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.